Have the client choose the essential oil and toner prior to therapy. Spritz the feet with healing rose water mist. Use warm towels to cleanse the feet. Spritz feet with colloidal silver mist. Start the client face down. Therapist grounds themselves and instills a healing intention. Therapist bows to client. Place two drops of essential oils selected by the client into your hands and ask the client to inhale the healing properties of the essential oil. Drape client's back area. Place six drops of sesame oil into your hands and glide your hands onto the neck and shoulders and back and apply the oil onto that area. Therapist takes the far infrared stone the small one, and uses this to soften and relax the shoulder, neck, and back area. Cat paw client's shoulders. Begin client face down. Begin rocking the client to assist relaxation and align the client, and also to set the intention of touch. Step to one side of the client and drape half of their body. Reach down and grab sanitized body brush from the floor. Tea tree is a great way to sanitize your brush. Facing the client's feet and in an upward motion, begin to brush the leg with your hand following the brush, a hand over hand motion. After three times on the lower leg and glute area, move upward to the upper leg in the same fashion. After three times on upper leg and glute area, transition facing the client's head and brush half of their back. After three passes on the back, move to the arm and make three hand over brush passes. With half of the body still draped, grab scrub, mud, or any treatment means and apply in an upward motion. If you were not doing a scrub and were using the woman's wrap or seaweed mixture, apply in the same way with the brush, but no transition is needed. Once the side of the body is fully covered in the mixture and it is slightly dry, cover or redrape the half of the body that is exposed. Redrape the body and move to the other side. Repeat the above body brush technique and application of product. Ask your client to turn over, face up and repeat draping, body brush and product application on the first side of the body. Now repeat on the other side of the front of the body. Using the Mylar paper, begin wrapping the client with the Mylar to help keep in the heat. All scrubs and wraps, you want the client to get hotter than their normal body temperature. This will help for more product penetration. The only exclusion is for the woman's balancing wrap. Although you want them to remain hot, we do advise a loose wrap just to keep the heat in the wrap. Note. You do not want this wrap to sweat as it's designed to just keep the heat in the wrap. While the client is wrapped and processing, the therapist can now perform a scalp massage. After processing, unwrap the client keeping in mind that it will be cold once the unwrapping begins. With the client face up, 
Take rolled towels, dry, and begin at the legs to help eliminate the majority of any scrub left on the body. The scrub will fall into the mylar paper. Once the area is finished, roll up the mylar and allow the clean limb to be placed on the clean bottom sheet. Continue in the same fashion with the other parts of the body. For the back, assist the client to sit up and hold the draping. Use the same technique to remove the loose scrub. Roll the mylar to the client's lower back and assist your client to lay back down onto the clean dry sheet. Remove the mylar from under the client's body. Note. Use the same technique with seaweed mixture or women's mixture. The only difference is that you will be using warm barber wraps or warm cloth mittens to remove the product from the body part. Once the mylar is removed, escort your client to the shower area. If the shower is not accessible, it is imperative that the therapist removes as much of the product as possible prior to the next step. Ask your client to lie face down and half drape the body. In the same fashion as the scrub application, apply appropriate healing and restoring cream to lock in the moisture and leave the skin silky smooth. Repeat on the other side of back of the body and then have the client turn face up. Repeat on each side of the body. This concludes the treatment.